Hi class, this is Brother Dixon, and welcome to Math 100G. I'm excited to be your professor this semester, and excited to get to know each of you this week. I thought I'd start off the week here by making a little video introducing myself, so you guys can get to know me a little bit more. Um, so as you all know, this is Math 100G Personal Finance. Just kind of a quick tidbit about Math 100G. Um, what it is, is it's a mix between some, some basic algebra, and then also doing some budgeting and personal finance stuff. Uh, I think you'll you'll enjoy it for those um, <clears throat> that have taken uh, quite a bit of math. It'll be a good refresher course for you. For those that are um, already into budgeting, maybe you'll learn a couple new things. And for those that haven't done either, then it'll all be new and it'll be fun uh, to learn it. So one thing I enjoy about the Pathway course is you'll meet you get lots of different people in your class. Everyone's at different levels. Um, so you'll be able to really learn from your classmates and um, from the course as well. So, so a little bit about me. Um, I grew up in Gilroy, California. It's just south of San Jose. So um, kind of an interesting thing. If any of you are in the San Jose, I think it's San Jose, the, the, uh, the pathway um, gathering there, and you're the missionaries of Brother and Sister Dixon, that's actually my parents. So they got called as Pathway Missionaries um, about, let's see, I guess fall semester was their first time. So this will be their second semester being Pathway Missionary. So if any of you are there, let me know. It'll be be fun. You have my parents as the missionaries and then me as your professor. So um, I served my mission in Tegucigalpa, Honduras from 2006 to 2008. Um, after I got home off my mission, I attended BYU-Idaho, and that's where I met my wonderful wife. And we've been married for six years, going on seven. We'll complete seven years in April. So, um, and we've got three boys, ages four, two, and three months. Uh, we currently live in Santa Quin, Utah, which is uh, about a half hour south of Provo, if anyone's not familiar really with Utah, about an hour south of Salt Lake. Um, and as a family, we love to do some, love to do things outside. We try and get outside as much as we can. The picture here is kind of a dated one, but it's uh, last. I think this was like last March. Uh, we went out to Arches National Park and went hiking around. It was a lot of fun. Um, so we try and get out, try and go hiking, try and go swimming at lakes nearby and stuff. If we can, we get on some dirt bikes and ride around. So uh, anything to get us out on the weekends. Um, here's a couple pictures from our fun Christmas break. So uh, we went and did the uh, uh, the Polar Express out in Heber, Utah. It was pretty fun. A little train that they set up like the Polar Express, and the boys had a great time doing that. And then we had a wonderful snowy Christmas, and so there's a picture of the boys getting pulled around in a sl um, some sleds. That's our neighbor pulling them, and me on the dirt bike there chasing them around. So. Then after Christmas, we uh, we actually drove out to Washington, um, and my brother-in-law got home off his mission, so we drove out there so we could be at the airport when he got home and get to see him speak in church. So that was exciting. All the family got to go out. Uh, that's my so that's my wife's family down there in the bottom right. Um, they live out in Western Washington, and so I I apologize for this video being a day late, but we were driving back yesterday, and I was hoping that we. We left really early in the morning and with the hopes that we'd get home at a fairly normal hour and then I could make this and get it up. Um, but uh, we hit some pretty bad weather and ended up taking us about, oh, I think it was about 18, almost 19 hours total to drive home. So we didn't get home until late, late in the night and a lot of snowstorms, so didn't get it up until today. So that was our fun Christmas break. Um, here's a little background on me and my career. So I... I uh, got a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering at BYU-Idaho. I went on to BYU and received my master's degree there, also in mechanical engineering. And while I was finishing up my master's, I started um, an internship at a company called Nature Sunshine Products, um, where they, they manufacture uh, different vitamins and vitamin drinks and stuff. And um, I'm one of the now full-time engineer there. Uh, they call it a process development engineer, and really what my role is is helping the plant become more efficient. So through buying new equipment or upgrading equipment or just changing different processes to make uh, the flow of products go smoother and more efficient. So 
Um, here's a little bit of contact info. Don't worry about writing this down. I'll show you where you can find it on iLearn. But uh, my office hours are going to be Tuesdays and Wednesday night from 8 to 10. And there's my email and phone. And, and just comment about this is please feel free to reach out to me. Um, you know, you can email me at any time. Calls, I ask, you know, if you're going to call, please don't call um, after 9 o'clock Mountain Time. Um, I do work from 8 to 5, and so I, I'm usually not as available to receive a phone call. Um, but if you want to text me, you're welcome to text me. Uh, that works as well. So, um, I'll just share one of my favorite quotes with you from President Hinckley that kind of helped me as I was going through schooling. Schooling, you know, it, it takes a toll on you, it's not easy. A lot of you have families, a lot of you are working full time as you're. Um, as you're doing this pathway course and looking at uh, you know completing your degrees in the future so this will be a good one to remember so it isn't as bad as you sometimes think it is it all works out don't worry I say that to myself every morning it will all work out if you do your best it will all work out put your trust in God and move forward with faith and confidence in the future the Lord will not forsake us he will not forsake us if we will put our trust in him if we will pray to him if we will live worthy of his blessings he will hear our prayers and Gordon B. Hinckley. So I really liked that as I was, you can apply this to all kinds of different trials and everything in life, but I applied it to me when I was in grad school. I applied it to me because I, I was struggling towards the end and wasn't sure if I was going to finish. I had to defend a thesis and it wasn't going as well as I had hoped and I, I felt it should have been done and it wasn't and I had professors that were telling me it wasn't and it was really difficult and it was really hard for me, but um, this kind of helped me realize, you know, in the grand scheme of things, I knew it would all work out, and it has from there. And I've gone on, and I've enjoyed joined my career now, and, and and everything got better. So just remember that as you go through school, um, it'll, it, you know it's for a reason, and it'll all work out. Even if it's hard and difficult now, it'll it'll be a blessing in the future. So um, last thing I wanted to show you real quick is where you can find my contact information. So if you so sorry, so this is the main page. This is where you'll see the announcements. Uh, this video will be posted here once I'm done and then um, every week every Monday I'll be posting uh, um, a new announcement uh, sometimes there will be videos sometimes there will just be some text um, but, uh, but be looking for announcements there um, so if you go to content and then at the top there's this overview mine was already clicked um, and this has my contact info so there's that's why I was saying don't worry about uh, don't worry about writing it down on those slides you can always find it right here so there's my phone number there's my email um, this is how you can schedule some time to meet with me so if you click here it's gonna open this uh, you can book me website and what it is is you go on here and you can sign up for a time slot um, as you sign up they'll cross it out so if students have signed up with me then it'll be, you know, if someone comes in and signs up for 8 o'clock this Tuesday, then that's going to get crossed out. I have them in 15-minute increments here, but I do allow you when you're booking it to the, up to a half hour if you would like that. I don't, I try not to go more than that because I want to make myself available to as many students as possible. Um, but just be aware of that. And then when we do meet, where we'll meet is in um, this Adobe Connect room. So, you know, say you booked this Tuesday at 8 o'clock great I'll meet you in the Adobe Connect room so you come back to this web page this page you click on the Adobe Connect and it's gonna pull open oh, let me go back one I had already clicked on this earlier so so it's gonna pull open Adobe Connect you may have to download like the add-in you're just gonna enter your name um, I forgot I a couple weeks ago my hard drive crashed and I replaced it and I haven't downloaded some stuff yet um, so anyway so you'll have to download probably an add-in um, sorry my son there you go um, so you, okay, thank you. Um, so you'll have to download that add-in to be able to do it um, but it's a nice way because it's got like a whiteboard on there so when we're doing math problems I can write on there and show you how to work things out um, Anyways, I'll, maybe I'll go more in detail of that when it comes time um, for exams and stuff. Because if you want to retake the exam, you'll need to, um, if you need if you want to retake an exam, you'll have to meet with myself or a tutor prior. So if you're meeting with me, then I like to use this to go over problems. So 
Anyways, that's uh, so that's 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 a welcome in a nutshell. There, this is my oldest son here, and there's my middle one. They're excited to be out of the car okay. after yesterday, so they're enjoying being back home. But um, thanks for uh, thanks for watching this, and I'm looking forward to getting to know you all and having a great semester with you. Yeah. Yeah.